What is the most ridiculous thing people have bragged about in front of you, which you found funny instead of being jealous? The triathlon she ran. Hear me out. At first I was impressed. It wasn't any old triathlon. It was an Iron Man. Which is a crazy feat and she should rightly be proud. Then she kept going. And going. And going. Every conversation topic. Every time she had a chance to speak. Over and over for the entire evening she'd steer the discussion back to her Iron Man. To be clear. She hadn't run it recently. It was something she did once nearly a decade before. It got so bad I started genuinely wondering if she had ever talked about anything else at any point in her life since. And when I say any topic. I mean any topic. We were eating dinner so we tried discussing the wine. When I was training I had to stop drinking all wine from this region and that. And I could only blah blah blah. Food. I knew about avoiding carbs for years before it was a fad. You only eat them before the Iron Man something something politics. The city tried to change our route. And we had to etc and so forth other sports. You know. Some people say training for the Iron Man is more intense than NHL hockey. We got a detailed breakdown of the ducking weather at each stage this race takes so you have to worry about changing weather. It was unbelievable. I went from duly impressed to irritated, to having to stifle a laugh every time she opened her mouth. How tough their body was. In that laxative tea and even an enema did nothing for them. Really bro? You're bragging about how constipated you are? My friend bragged about not sleeping for three days studying for math econ slash calc finals. Fell asleep during the exam. Shame. He was smart and would probably have aced it if well rested had to retake. From what I remember, he discovered Adderall that semester and thought he was invincible. I had a regular brag to me about his eight children, by five different women. To this day, I still don't know how he found that to be an accomplishment. This woman at a nice clothing store was buying a dress for her husband's work holiday party. She was telling everyone he was a director at his firm and managed all these high-end clients. The more she talked about the party, the more I realized her husband and I worked for the same company. I asked her who her husband was and when she said his name I had to fight back laughter. He was not a director. Not even close to one. I told her I knew her husband. We worked in the same department. She turned beet red and shut up bragging. About being voted high school class president. A decade after they graduated. So you've accomplished nothing since then? You literally peaked in high school? That was your big shining moment? Yikes. That they don't read anything or haven't read a book in years. Not even the news or random mindless articles. How much money they spent on a trip? Dude. Cost does not indicate a better trip. Serious traveler here. How much they spend on their hair slash nails slash makeup slash etc. I mean, it's nice to look well, but how expensive and exhausting to spend about half your time and money on just your appearance. In paramedic school there was a dude that would often brag and slash or flex by declaring I was on this class last year, as in failed, and is repeating, and thinks that's going to give him an edge. My sill once bragged to me about being the only parent volunteer at my niece's school that was allowed to use the photocopier and that the other parent volunteers looked up to her because of it. Ridiculous. Yes. And sad. A conversation with her was basically like one I have with my kids while I'm busy and they are telling me about Pokemon. MMM. Oh wow. Oh. Well that's cool. Ah. Uh, neat. Some guy at my high school keeps bragging about thing his stepdad buys. I mean why? It's not even yours. My little bro, teenager, bragged to me that he and his friends drank medicinal alcohol. He thought it was hardcore. About being valedictorian in high school. This guy was 36 and he brought that up multiple times a week. One of my friends bragged that he hasn't been to the dentist in almost a decade. Totally capable of going. Just chooses not to and bragged about it. So weird slash nasty. 
a guy I know played D1 college football at a mid-major university. This was 20 years ago. He still brings it up daily. Wants to show people pictures of himself in uniform. And just constantly reminds us that this is what he did. Don't get me wrong. That's cool and all. But it was 20 years ago man. Move on. Someone bragged that their ego is bigger than mine. I still haven't figured out why that's a good thing. My girlfriend proudly bragged to me how manipulative she can get to get what she wants from guys after I subtly called her out for that. To quote her. It's crazy how I can be manipulative. I worked a job where everyone there smoked. Asked why I don't smoke. I mentioned health reasons. They processed to have a competition about how bad their health is because of smoking. I'm having trouble sleeping because I can't take deep breaths that's nothing. I haven't taken a deep breath in years. Always makes me cough you're not that bad yet. I've been smoking since I was a teen and sometimes I cough a bit of blood through a way to make me know I'm hanging out with the brightest bunch at work. How little she knows about her and her husband's finances. Like she doesn't know how much the car loan is her name costs them per month. Doesn't know their house payment. Nothing. Super strange to me how you could be that comfortable not knowing how much money is leaving you every month. Someone beat up a very special needs kid who was also non-verbal. Tried telling me how many hits he got in. So I gave him one too. About their husband slash children. I don't want either of them. But some people, mostly ex-classmates, think that I am just unlucky to not have those. And they brag about how cute their children are. Or what they did at school. Etc. They sometimes add I'm so sorry you haven't experienced this. I find this very weird. Because 1. I really don't want kids. And I don't even hide it. And 2. If I would want kids. It would be very rude to brag about it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about the happy moms. Who are just simply proud of their family. But the people. Who want me to believe that their life is better than mine. Number of watches he bought. Like one thousands of dollars. Every day in office he'd show me a new watch. I was always surprised and then confused on why he needed a closet full wrist watches. Most people probably know someone like this. But my brother-in-law is that guy that is either bragging about how he has worked 100 hours that week or how he only gets one hour of sleep a night. I used to work with a girl and we went out to lunch occasionally. Sometimes we took my car and sometimes we took hers. But when she said it. Let's go in my Mercedes. It was old. Headlights were all yellowish. Interior passenger handle to pull the door shut was ripped most of the way off. Front spoiler was held on by black duct tape. Not impressed one bit. Although she was very proud. I used to work with a girl who would go on and on about how small her hands were. Apparently she could close car doors on her fingers and not be hurt. They'd just stick out the other side and she'd have to wait for someone to open it. Somebody once bragged to me that the highest fever he had ever had was 115F. Your brain begins to essentially cook at 108F. Instead of arguing I just said makes sense there isn't much left he didn't get it. My friend and I thought it was hilarious. I just hate it when people need to compete on who has the worst life. I say I only get 4 hours sleep last night they say well I only get 1. Well good for you your life is worse. Overheard an older woman where I used to work brag about her massive beanie baby collection. She was naming off the ones she has as if they were fabric eggs. She had no idea how little those things are actually worth. People love to brag about how much they hate something. That's pathetic to me. Every other thing people brag about to me is usually pretty cool including most things in this thread. I can chug a whole 2 liter bottle of milk in one go. I've been practicing. Follow your dreams. Man. The amount of people he had slept with. And that he thought I was losing out by being with only one for seven years. Like dude. Seriously? I'd rather have that than just dipping a new sauce every few days. Why try a new one when you found the best? 
after I got sober for a few years. Anytime any brags about drinking or doing drugs I just feel like it's trashy lol. When I was graduating high school a girl started bragging about how much her dress costed. Which is funny because she looked horrible. So she spent a duck ton of money and still looked bad. A former colleague would brag about how massive her drinking debt from college was. She was still paying it off many years later. Girl. That's not something to be proud of. Who watched the most anime? Like sure. I like anime too. But watching 52 in a year is nothing to brag about. Summer between high school and college. A group of friends and I were playing drinking games. Eventually. Never have I ever came up. This one girl, friend's second cousin. We had all just met her, was saying things she had done. Then taking a drink. She was a couple years older than us. And it was completely obvious that she was trying to brag about being a badass, mostly about sexual stuff. But some stuff about stealing and doing drugs was snuck in as well. One example was never have I ever had a train road on me just kidding yes I have. When one friend tried explaining how to play the game to her. She said yeah whatever. There's just nothing I haven't done and y'all are a bunch of prudes. Was a dinner while traveling on business. And a co-worker from another office was with myself and two other co-workers from the office I work in. She boasted about her above average IQ. To which I replied not only does everyone at this table have an above average IQ. But 49. 9% of people. I once worked with a guy that bragged. Loudly and at great length about boning his first cousin like it was some kind of accomplishment. Some years later he went to prison for murdering some guy at the racetrack. Last time the family got together. My cousin told this sad little story about using his knowledge of transport regulations to intimidate a taxi driver who warned him about lighting up a cigarette in a hospital car park. He was so satisfied with that victory. Don't want tobacco smell in your car? I'll get you fired. Bro. My grandma used to make fun of my mom for having gone to college. She was proud about not knowing big words. I had a date tell me her IQ in the first 5 minutes of the date. I laughed out loud. People who get their IQ tested as children usually have it done as a rule out for learning disorders as an explanation for behavioral issues it's like announcing you're a problem child. I also briefly dated a woman who kept bragging about her IQ in groups. And it wasn't even that impressive. Everyone would just awkwardly look at each other. Wordlessly confirming that this woman may have just announced she was the stupidest person in the room. I don't like when people brag about doing drugs. I don't care if you do stuff because I do stuff myself. But bragging about it is so jushy. So. I was chatting with some friends in a dinner near the university. While. We were waiting in line to pay the bill. One of us made a brief comment on the standard university satisfaction quiz that we had filled that day. A random guy behind us was eavesdropping and approached us saying that he developed that model and he was not aware that the university was still using his intellectual property. We tried very hard to convince him that coming up with a multiple choice quiz for satisfaction is not exactly groundbreaking innovation. But his mind was already set. After we paid our meals and exited the restaurant we saw him heading towards the university seeking the justice he deserved so much. We never saw him again. This one is city have a male colleague that keeps bragging about a bunch of stuff. Including how wealthy he is. How many love conquests he has. How many girls he sleeps with and so on. You get the picture. Likes to brag about his substance abuse too but that same person also clearly doesn't know how to make budget and save money. He's actually always in need of money. He's also single and has trouble getting GFS and keeping them, for sad obvious reasons. He's living a very miserable life and isn't changing anything about it but would also always whine about it. He acts like a juvenile 13 year old but he's nearly 40 years old.